Dzień dobry, cześć, no low. Today, guys, I'm going to be talking about seven things that Americans are not going to like about Poland when they go, whether that's to visit or to live. And, you know, these are really just generalizations about what Americans are not going to like. I can't be the one person representing all of America and vice versa. When I talked in my last video about seven things that Polish people will probably not like about the U.S., I can't generalize for all Polish people either when it comes to what they're going to like or not like about a certain country. So this video is actually inspired by a comment on the last video on my channel so without further ado guys let's just get started all right so the first one on my list today that americans are probably not going to like about poland is personal space see americans have like an arm length of distance we have this invisible bubble and see when someone goes into that bubble we automatically feel violated or uncomfortable now i think this is mostly a european thing but i'm just referring to poland for all of these on my list now i first actually noticed this when i was in dc going to france there was actually two french people behind me and I, I didn't know what, what the problem was. They were actually standing right behind me, where if I moved back an inch, they would basically be molesting me. So right then, I felt extremely uncomfortable, and I didn't know if these people were just really comfortable with being around people, or if this was a European thing. Now, fast forward to being in Poland, I noticed that being in lines and things like that, it's the same way. Sometimes people can be standing literally right behind you, and it makes me so, so uncomfortable. And I know, as an American, you're probably not gonna like this. Now, also, some people, when they're talking to you they can be like this distance in front of you when they're talking to you it's it's a normal thing in poland so i didn't really realize that it was an american thing to have this big amount of personal space but yeah you're not gonna have that in poland so just be prepared for that and you're probably not gonna like that about poland all right so the second one on my list is food service now a lot of polish people will say that american food service is either so annoying or you know to the point where the waiters or waitresses are always coming up to you and you know asking you you know how is everything you know would you like anything else and a lot of polish people will say that that's kind of annoying and they don't like that but as an american i personally like that so whenever i went over to poland i had to get used to finding the waiter or waitress myself sometimes whenever i wanted food or a drink sometimes i would simply have to go out you know down the hall or wherever they were and literally just go find them and you know ask for the bill or you know some more food and this was honestly pretty weird to me and also just really annoying and it was something that i didn't like about poland Poland, and it's something that you're gonna have to get used to and personally ever since I went to Poland I actually believe that tipping is a good thing because you know the waiters or waitresses are honestly more inclined to at least you know try to serve you and you know just make sure that you know everything's all right and that the food's always there that's something that I actually really like about America now and I didn't really realize that until whenever I went over to Poland because the food service in Poland is also just really lacking in general all right so the third one on my list is something that I never would have thought of going over to Europe in Poland, but that is air pollution and smog. Poland has a big issue with smog and air pollution, and I think this is because of two reasons. Now, I just want to say that Poland in general is honestly pretty green uh, compared to the U.S., you know, in terms of returning and recycling, you know, bottles and doing things like that. I feel like Poland is pretty green, and because of the cities in general, a lot of people will take, you know, buses or bikes and things like that. Now, obviously, in the U.S., our cities are kind of built differently, and honestly, just where we live is built differently. So it's much harder to, you know, walk or ride a bike in the US. And I see a lot of Polish people will comment actually on my videos and say like, oh, Americans just drive in general and, you know, they don't care. They just want to destroy the environment, which is just not the case at all. We simply have to drive wherever we go or else we literally have no way of getting around. So I just wanted to say that if Polish people are watching this video. So with that said, I wanted to say that number one is coal and a lot of Polish people will burn coal. And and I guess it's just really common. It's pretty cheap and affordable compared to, you know, electric and it kind of sucks. But yeah, it's a lot of Polish people will burn coal uh, to warm their house in the winter and things like that. Now, I've actually never seen this, but I've heard of Polish people taking trash like their, you know, plastics and papers and things like that and just throwing them in the fireplace to warm up the house. So I've never seen that, but I've just heard of it. So let me know in the comment section down below if this is actually a thing in Poland, because I'm pretty curious about it and maybe if you can link a video or you know a news article about this as well so and i also wanted to say with this is that smog and air pollution isn't everywhere in poland but it just sits in some areas differently for example near the mountain region you know in the south in southwest you know the smog and air pollution kind of sits in valleys like in zakopane and you know krakow and areas like that i think the air pollution will sit in those areas differently so it's not everywhere in poland but it can be in most places so yeah it's just something that i think most 
most Americans won't really like about Poland in general. All right, so the third one on my list is socializing. Now, if you know the language or not, it's going to be difficult to socialize with strangers. Okay, so I didn't really realize this until going over to Poland a couple times now. You know, just talking to Americans and stuff like random people, you know, whether you see down the street or, you know, you're in a waiting room with other Americans or, you know, you're just walking or you're just in some weird random encounter with someone. You know, it's really easy to spark up a conversation with someone and just start talking to them and, you know, figuring out what they do or, you know, what they like to do and, you know, what they're all about. So you're not going to be able to do this with Polish people. Sadly, it's extremely difficult to do it. I've tried it myself. I've tried going up to people just saying, you know, Jin Dobry, asking them like, how's it going and all of that. It's just, it's not going to happen. All right. Maybe you can talk about the weather or what's going on in the news. That's not related to politics. But other than that, it's going to be pretty difficult to socialize with strangers, whether you know the language or not. And I didn't really realize that this was an American thing and that I actually like this about America is that you can just go up to strangers until I went over to Poland and in Europe it's just it's not gonna happen and I also didn't really realize that if you're asking a Polish person questions you know about you know how are you you know what are your hobbies what school do you go to you know where do you live all of this stuff most Polish people might feel pressured like they're being interrogated and instead you might want to just change the topic and not really ask them questions and I didn't really realize this about myself but when I'm talking to someone I'm asking them a bunch of questions so I didn't realize that you know Polish people kind of feel interrogated about this so it's kind of difficult for me to talk to people because I know that number one you can't really go up to someone and ask them how they're doing and then number two you can't just start asking them questions because they're gonna feel interrogated and that's honestly the two tactics I use whenever I'm just talking to someone here in America so if you're Polish and you're watching this video I'm curious about you know talking to strangers and you know things like that do you feel like it's weird if someone talks to you or do you feel like it's okay because this is a big part about America is talking to strangers and whenever I went over to Poland, it kind of sucked that, you know, Polish people don't really do that at all. All right, so the fourth one on my list is a lack of public bathrooms. And I'm also going to add public water fountains as well. Now, I've talked about bathrooms a lot in my previous videos, and I never thought I'd be making videos where I'm just talking about bathrooms in different countries. First things first, I just want to say, yeah, American bathrooms can suck because of the bathroom gap, you know, in the stalls. But other than that, you're not going to have a hard time finding a bathroom, especially near a tourist spot in the U.S. like you would in Poland. Poland. Now in Poland, you're going to have to pay to use the bathroom in most places, or you're going to have to show a receipt. You know, for example, if you go to McDonald's and you have to go to the bathroom there, you know, sometimes you have to show the receipt to simply just go to the bathroom. So I never saw this before going over to Poland, but there's areas, you know, at bus stops and, you know, major tourist spots where there's public bathrooms and they're public, but you have to simply pay for them. So you go down these stairs and then you just pay a worker there a certain amount of cash. It's, it's usually like, 50 cents, 20 cents USD to use the bathroom. But still, it's just kind of annoying that you have to do that. But you know, it's going to be a clean bathroom experience when you do that. And also water fountains, you're not going to find any. So you're going to have to buy a water bottle as well. So I actually forgot to mention that with food service, when you go to a restaurant, you are going to be paying for water. So the waiter or waitress is going to come out with a glass and then they're going to come out with a glass water bottle that's literally like this tall. And you're not going to have ice in your glass as well. So I think Europeans in general don't really like cold cold drinks and this is something that I didn't really realize that I really like about America but we love ice in our drinks so just be prepared for that I would honestly just bring a water bottle if you can to a restaurant and maybe just sneak it in your pocket or something like that because it's not really going to be worth the price for such a small water bottle or just instead just get a beer or you know something that's in much bigger volume all right so the fifth one on my list that most Americans are not going to like about Poland is work contracts so if you're going to Poland to work obviously you know, if you're a citizen from another country going over to another country, typically there's contracts and things like that with visas. But for the most part, you are going to have to sign a work contract no matter what. Now, I didn't really know this was a big thing. Now, here in the States for Polish people watching, now this is not really a thing unless in the States you are making like tons and tons of money for a specific job. Um, sometimes then you would be doing a work contract. But other than that, it's really just teachers and military or government that you're going to be signing contracts. And for or any other day-to-day -day job, you're never going to sign a contract, which is something I actually like about the States because let's just say you go into a job and you hate it, it sucks, you can just quit. You can just put in your respectful two weeks and then you can just quit. Whereas
whereas in Poland that's not really the case you're gonna have to sign a contract to work at most places and it's it's not just places like teachers and military it's also most positions as well and this is something that honestly surprised me about Poland yeah so if you wanted to quit for example you would simply just have to pay like a fine I'm not really sure what the price is or cost is and maybe a Polish person can help me and educate me because I'm curious about really how this works in general and if you could just let me know down below in the comment section I'd be eager to hear about that because it's something that I'm not really used to as an American so yeah it's just pretty nice as an American you just know you can just quit your job whenever so it's something that I think most Americans are not gonna like about Poland is that you're gonna have to sign a job contract stating that you're gonna work for a certain amount of period for a certain amount of time doing a certain task so just be prepared for that all right so the sixth one on my list that most Americans are not gonna like about Poland is access to stores that are 24 7 now in Poland most stores are closing at you know around 9 or 10 and after that you know they're just closed so there's no access to like a Walmart that's 24 7 etc or even some fast food chains will actually close and they're not open 24 7 so not all of them but you know a lot of them do close and are not 24 7 so as of right now all stores are also closed on Sundays you can only go to like gas stations and things like that uh, most stores you know for example in the malls are all closed and you can't go to really anything and that is even grocery stores a lot of them are all closed on Sundays and this is something that honestly really surprised me about Poland and it's something I don't like about Poland because you know some days you just want to go to the store and it's a Sunday and you know that's just the day it is now that's only right now that the video date of this is posted that may not be forever they could change that but as of right now that's still a thing so it just kind of sucks and and it's something that most Americans really won't like about Poland. All right, so the final one, number seven on my list that I think most Americans are not gonna like about Poland, and I feel like I wouldn't be American if I didn't say this, and that is I think that junk food in Poland is just not as good as it is in the US. For example, I think their chocolate bars are better than in America, but other than that, I think we do everything better when it comes to junk food, and I don't know why, but in Poland, and I think in Europe, they just don't really do peanut butter. I, I, I think they just don't yeah I don't know if they don't like peanut butter or if they just don't have it in general but I couldn't really find that much peanut butter in stores and going on to that my favorite thing is chocolate and peanut butter so Reese's is you know one of my favorite things one of my favorite snacks and they just don't really do that in Poland it's not popular now I've only seen a couple Reese's cups in Poland and every time I saw them they were a little bit more expensive than in the States actually and I guess it's just because they're only importing them from the US so going on to that I don't know why but the majority of ice creams in Poland for example if you go to a very famous ice cream chain called Gritzan most of the ice creams there have only fruit in them now you can get ice creams that you know don't have fruit in them at all but it's honestly pretty rare I was honestly shocked by this that people eat ice cream with fruit in them like I'm talking everything from like mangoes to kiwis to strawberries and all that and while I think that's really good I just think it's not diabetic and cancerous enough as I like my ice cream here in the States for example my girlfriend and I love this chain called Cold Stone Creamery and you can get like everything in your ice cream so I don't think there's any fruits there at all there's fruit flavored which is probably not really real flavor it's more of like an artificial typically but most people don't really get that and instead for example I always get this chocolate cake batter ice cream with an actual white cake in it chopped up that's put in it with like Reese's cups as well and yeah that's just something that I get so that's just like a quick example you're not gonna really find that in Poland so yeah I think most junk food is kind of lacking and is not really as diabetic and cancerous as it is as here in America it's just something you're probably not really gonna like about Poland but the food in general is really good in Poland and it honestly tastes a lot more real and authentic than here in America but I think the junk food side we just do a little bit better than everywhere else in the world probably all right guys so that's actually it for the video today so if you want to check out other American to Polish related content here on YouTube then you can just check out some of the other videos that I've made on my channel so yeah I just want to thank you guys so much for watching Jinkoi Dawitsenya